You must have been wondering what we were doing. We were cleansing our pranamaya kosha. We are going to be looking at pranayama and the fundamental mechanical principles of pranayama. So if you look at the word pranayama, it means the conscious expansion of life force energy. It is not just breathing exercises as usually translated. So we are going to be looking at the three lobes of the lungs. That is the lower lobe, the mid lobe and the upper lobe. But so isn't it uh, good if we do the cleansing exercise standing? Yes, that's actually very, very good. But today we're just doing a variation, sitting down. Standing is good because there's a lot of freedom of movement. Now we'll go into the series or looking at a system called the Hatenas, where there are asanas for expanding each lobes of the lungs. Now that is a very large system, but we're going to be looking at a sampler, just a one asana for each of the lobes. So we'll start with the lower lobe, sit comfortably in the Vajrasana. Most men, just because of how their body is built, are better lower chest breathers. Now we'll do the modified Ushtrasana. Breathe in, gently come up, bend back, keep your eyes open so that you don't feel too dizzy. Come down, again gently, and relax. So there may be a tendency to feel a little dizzy, so just ground in the position. Relax, that's enough. We'll do it just once. Now we'll move on to the asana for the mid lobe. Again, we're going to do the Sapurna Matsya Asana. Okay. This is also a modified version of the classical Matsya or the fish pose. Lie down in the Shavasana. Yes, place your hands on your thighs, elbows on the ground and yes, push your chest up. So as you can see, there's a nice forcing or a lift to the mid chest and women are better mid chest breathers than men. And gently relax. So this supplies prana to the heart and the lung region and that's why you'll find that the incidence of heart attacks is much much less in women than compared to men because they are better mid chest breathers. Now we look at an asana again for the upper chest. Nikunja asana I guess? Yes. The, you're a good student so I'm glad you remember. <laughs> so you can come down, come forward. And the pressure is on the upper chest. This is also called the Balasana. As you can see, it's like a little child, like a Bala lying. And there's nice deep breathing. And you can gently come up. This is also done with the head to the left side so we start with the head to the right and then move on with the